Welcome to Joints, Non-Zero Reaction Force Components. There is no studying musculoskeletal biomechanics without considering the joints in our body. Each joint in our body is unique in its special way. We will categorize and discuss them in another video. Here, let's start creating an intuitive understanding of how to find the non-zero reaction force components in different joints. When our junction is at a frictionless surface, it is safe to assume that the only non-zero force component is the one due to the surface contact. Then, the number of non-zero force components is really just one in this case. In this next example, we will have a wheel on a rail. Assume that the wheel can move along the x direction. Then, the wheel will be in contact with the rail at three points up top causing a reaction force along Y and on both sides causing two force components along Z. This completes a total of three non-zero reaction force components. On a surface with friction, the point of contact will experience non-zero reaction forces in all three directions. Thus we will get three non-zero reaction force components Fx, Fy, and Fz. A ball and socket system will experience a very similar set of reaction forces. Since the ball is constrained all around by the socket, reaction force components will be non-zero along three directions, Fx, Fy, and Fz. But the ball is free to rotate in the socket, so there are no moment reactions. Now let's think of moments as well. Imagine a completely fixed support. There would naturally be three non-zero reaction force components along X, Y, and Z. But if you also try to think about moments, all three directions would also experience non-zero reaction moment components, since the support cannot move or rotate at all. So the answer here would be six non-zero reaction components. Let's look at hinges now. This first one is fixed on the plane. This means it will have all three non-zero reaction force components. Now, in terms of moments, the hinge can rotate about the x-axis. Thus, we only have two non-zero reaction moment components, leading to a total of five non-zero reaction components. This second hinge may look a little different, but the thought processing is quite similar. Assume it is fixed along the axis, like a door. It will have all three non-zero reaction force components, X, Y, and Z, but, as in the previous example, we will only see two non-zero reaction moment components. This happens because we can fold the hinge creating a moment about the X axis. So once again, we have five non-zero reaction components. Alright now, I'll see you next time.